Tulsa Roughnecks versus the New York Cosmos. 73,000 American fans. The world's most popular sport, American style. Soccer is bringing the United States closer to the rest of the world. It's the first truly international game that appeals to every social group as opposed to other popular American sports. And it's not just a temporary soccer mania. Some of the best players in the world have moved here. Others commute over to play a second season. They're helping to turn the United States into an international soccer power. They bring with them not only first-class knowledge of the game, but provide new heroes for the millions of kids who are playing soccer for the first time all over the country. North American Soccer League. How did you personally get involved in soccer? In 1966, I was coming to the end of a, a professional playing career in England, and uh, professional soccer was beginning in North America, Canada, and the United States. Two leagues were formed, been due to operate in 1967. So I, I then retired from playing in England, uh, became the coach and general manager of a franchise in Atlanta, the Atlanta Chiefs and two years later came into the league office to become the commissioner of the North American Soccer League. So this was in 1969? Uh, beginning of 1969, yes. Now the first attempt to popularize soccer in the United States, wasn't it around 1967? That's right, those two leagues were formed. One was affiliated with the world organization FIFA, the other one was not affiliated. Mm -hmm. It brought about a lawsuit between the, those two leagues and with the United States Soccer Federation. Mm -hmm. Uh, a settlement was made and the two leagues merged together in 1968 to become the North American Soccer League, 17 teams. Yeah. What about American soccer in the distant past? It was disorganized, isolated, and had very little public support. It was considered a foreign sport. Many clubs and teams were started and folded. It was only played by ethnic clubs, Englishmen, and other eccentrics. Yet this lively game took place in 1946 at Yankee Stadium the New York Americans, and Liverpool. In the miraculous upset in the 1950 World Cup, the United States beat England by winning 1-0. The public didn't care, and American soccer lost its chance to capitalize on this achievement and emerge from obscurity in this country. This is another game from 1952 the Italian-Americans showing their skill in New York's Randall's Island Stadium. At that time, soccer didn't catch on at all. Well, soccer had been played in North America for many, many years, going way back to the beginning of the century, mm -hmm. uh, but mainly by the immigrant groups that were in this country, and it wasn't spread uh, throughout society. Mm -hmm. And then when Pelé come, then it sparked everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, it certainly yeah. did. 
Ricky Davis of the Cosmos, selected as the best North American player of 1979 by the Soccer League, is from a private school background. Yeah, I began playing when I was six years old in Claremont, California, which yeah. is a very small town just outside of Los Angeles. Yeah. And fortunate for me, they had a few leagues, which were probably the first ones established in the United States, and it exposed me to the game of soccer. Mm -hmm. So you played throughout high school, I presume? Right, I began playing at six and played all the way up until my age right now, which is 20, playing in high school, which is, I think, where I got my first ideas of what professional soccer might be like. One of the things that I've noticed in being with the Cosmos and playing with players like Franz Beckenbauer, Vladislav Bogusevich, and Georgia Kanaya is that their technical abilities are so far above the standard in America mm -hmm that I think that American players should idolize the way that they play. Uh, just now, the American soccer player has something to look forward to. He is finally able to play soccer professionally because finally he can make a living that way. The money is good enough, and uh, it enables American kids to actually pursue soccer as a career. Giorgio Canaya of the New York Cosmos. What, what's the difference between playing here and playing at home? Well, there's a lot of difference because uh, here you haven't got the standard as European soccer yet. You know, we're trying to get there, but it's you know it's taking a bit of time. We're, we're improving every year. We're improving every year, but the standard, like in the gym, in Bundesliga or in the English or the Italian or the Spanish, uh, it's, it's a bit higher than it is here. Why well, do you think the, the, the popularity is increasing with such rapidity? Here? I think because of the children, the involvement of the kids, and the kids bring the parents out, so they all have a nice day out at the game. You know, you have to understand, soccer in Europe, it's a little bit different, different organized, and, uh, but here, you know, they, they have to learn a little bit, and Cosmos, it's, uh, you know, they pick up it very, very fast, and I think now the Cosmos, for example, it's one of the best and organized uh, clubs in the world. So you think on a management level, they are ahead of Europe? Oh, well, there is right. no question about it. As far promoting as it, yeah, promoting it, promoting yeah. it, there is. The, now the, the rest of the, the rest of Europe is copying. It's irritating. <laughs> so there we are. You have to adjust U.S. to to the rest of the world, or the rest of the world to the U.S. You must understand <laughs> that in the rest of the world they have penalty kicks. We had yeah. penalty kicks yeah. also. Yeah. But then penalty kicks they seem to be so easy. Yeah. So to, we had to make it exciting for the for the fans. Mm -hmm. I think that the rest of the world will eventually change because <laughs> Maybe. It's, uh, it's more exciting. And it's more the, exciting. The, yeah. Yeah. When I come here five years ago, four years ago, fortunately, <laughs> we started to have more, uh, let's say, more support to the media, more support to the people. Then we started to work and to promote more the soccer. And the, today, no doubt, soccer is a reality in the United States. I yeah. used to say to the kids here in the soccer camp, you know, those kids, and yeah. I used to, say, to, to tell them, okay, you have a lot of good players, have a Pelé, Beckenbauer, Nets, uh, Johan Cruyff, you, you have uh, some good players here in America, American players, you learn with him, you try to take something good from, from them, but be yourself. Yes, very good philosophy. That's uh, more important, what do we say to the kids? Because I believe, uh, really, I believe in uh, two old couple more. Eight years from now, we're gonna have a, a national team from American players and uh, an old cup. That's that no doubt. It doesn't matter the way that you play the game, but you be involved in the game. Mr. Wisdom, you sound very optimistic. What do you see as the future of U.S. soccer? I, I think it uh, can be very successful. I think we'll achieve some of the goals we've set ourselves. What, what we'd like to do is to certainly become the most dominant sport in North America, mm -hmm. uh, whereas, in fact, we started from nowhere just 10 years or so. I'd like to think that we will become a major power as far as the World Cup is concerned. And, yes. and hopefully before the end of the 80s, we will be. And I'd like to see us put ourselves in the same category as Brazil and Argentina and Germany and Italy and England and whoever people regard as the top ten nations in the world.
Silver Whitecaps versus the Tampa Bay Rowdies. In America, soccer is competing with four well-established sports. American football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. In order to compete, soccer had to be different. The rules were altered to attract television coverage and to satisfy the fans' demand for action and spectacle. Matches must be won or lost. Substitutions, shootouts, there's never a dull moment. The fans love it. In the not-so-distant future, intercontinental matches will be played here. Perhaps Native Americans will match the best from the rest of the world on the rest of the world's own level, on the soccer field. <laughs> 